know, you and I were talking a little bit off camera before here. There's a story that I had heard that you confirmed uh, <laughs> that I love about you and David Beckham. And you guys, when you were coaching Salt Lake and when he was playing for LA, had a, a bit of a back and forth that people remember after a game once. Things got sort of heated. He called you an arrogant bleep. Uh, and you made up you know, very soon afterward yeah. and have a lot of respect for each other. And you happened to be having dinner at the same restaurant a while later, and you sent David Beckham a beer that was an is arrogant bastard beer. <laughs> which uh, is a brand name. So uh, we can which say is that, yes, right? we can say this. Uh, <laughs> tell me the story. <laughs> it's a funny. It's a, a very funny story because, you know, as 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 people know, I'm a fairly heated person on the field. When I was a player, I was the same way. As a coach, I'm really passionate about about doing that as well. And. Uh, he and I had exchanged some words during the game, and I think it was a real big mis misunderstanding because I actually ended up laughing at what he said on the field. But I think he took that as me being arrogant. So after the game, he kept calling me an arrogant plank, <laughs> arrogant plank. And I, I tried to walk off the field, but after the fifth time, I said, okay, I need to address this. But quickly afterwards, through Chris Klein, we had, we had made up and everything was, was, was no problem. And the next time we saw each other in the field, we talked to each other a little bit um, before or after a game, I can't remember. So then the, the following preseason, I was, we were at this restaurant, it was a bar and restaurant, and I saw him and some of the other players were there having, having dinner, and I just, they had a ton of different beers, and I saw this beer, and as soon as I saw the word arrogant, I thought, <laughs> okay, I have to do this, I have to send them over this beer. I bought a beer through the, through the waitress and wrote down a note on a napkin that said something to the extent of, um, here's, an, here's an arrogant bastard from the arrogant, uh, quote unquote. Um, and he took it really well. It was fantastic. He'd come over and we chatted for a little bit after that. And um, it's been a, it was a really funny exchange, I thought. And for somebody like David Beckham to even recognize me at a, a restaurant was pretty cool.